Jamaica Breaking News, we keep you informed. Portland family devastated. Missing taxi driver lost in the company of policeman. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Indicom is probing the suspected murder of a Portland taxi driver who has gone missing after reportedly being in the company of a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force on a trip to an undisclosed location on Wednesday night, September 26. Jeffrey Campbell, otherwise called Reese, 27 year old, left home for work the Wednesday morning as he usually does. Campbell did not return home but sent his common-law wife, Karen Williams, two voice messages that night, one at 8.03 and the other at 8.07 p.m. Williams said she did not see the messages until sometime after 9 p.m. Williams said she knew something was wrong when she listened to the messages as Campbell was whispering and sounded scared. He said he was out with the police and he not trust nobody after dark. Him tell me the person's name and where to find him if anything should happen and him not come back. He didn't say where he was. Maybe he didn't know where he was because he would have told me. When I listened to the messages, I was trying to call him and up until this day, I can't get him. Honestly, me did I call him for cuss him and ask him where I'm going with the person if him can't trust him, she continued. Williams said she shared the voice messages with other family members while she hoped for a safe return. After waiting for more than a day, she decided to file a missing persons report at the Port Antonio police station Friday morning, September 28. She said she was afraid, so she didn't mention the voice message to the police. Later that evening, Williams said she got a call from the police asking her to report to the station. She said when she went there, an officer asked her about the voice messages, which she denied circulating out of fear. She added that the officer who had taken her statement in the morning asked her to stand at the window and pointed her out to the other police officers at the station. Williams said she got scared and left as the police officer name mentioned in the voice note is stationed at that station. They, the Port Antonio police, have been trying to call me, but I don't answer because I don't like the way they handle the situation. I don't trust anybody up there. She has instead reported the matter to Indicom who have collected evidence and are investigating the matter. The body of a man who Williams believes to be her common-law husband was fished from the Raya Coburn St. Catherine on September 30, four days after his disappearance. DNA test results have not yet been released to confirm if it is Campbell. Williams, when asked about the discovery, said the body looked just like his, but the face kind of mash up. She described the body, the body to be in a decomposing state and it also appeared to have blows to the head. Williams is distraught at Campbell's disappearance. He was the breadwinner for their two daughters, ages one and four. She said her older daughter asked for him. I tell her he's at work. He usually call and talk to them if he's coming home late. I don't know how to tell my children that. Their aunt is going to tell him. If it's him, I don't know. I really don't know. A distraught, Williams said. Campbell's vehicle has not been found. Jamaica Breaking News. We keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.